Well, hello, my YouTube family. Yeah, that's right. You didn't see me yesterday. Uh, came in. I had to talk to Pop. And, well, the rest is history, I guess. So I'm here today basically wearing the same thing I wore yesterday. Same lip, at least. Um, the blush is different, but... Anyway, it's the lip that's important. It's the lips of the day, right? Okay. I'm so tired. Oh, my God. I'm working harder without my supervisor being there than if she were with, if she were here in the office. I can just imagine how bad this week would be if she was here. Because this week is tough as hell. Tough as hell. I'm doing I'm doing all sorts of And here's the thing. It is Pitbull's birthday tomorrow. Now I don't know who normally picks up the donuts. I have a feeling it's my supervisor, but my supervisor's on vacation. So guess who the responsibility because I don't think anybody is going to pick up any donuts for her. I better do. And if somebody does pick up donuts, well then you double up on the donuts. But um I have a feeling that I think I, I'm almost expected to pick up the donuts. So and nobody's gonna pay me back for that. So um I better do it. Because I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear, ooh, I didn't realize it was so and so's birthday. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm talking about a dozen, a dozen donuts, people. I don't know how much there is at Dunkin' Donuts. You know, you know that box, and you get a whole a, a variety. Yeah. Okay. All I know is I'm going to get a uh, Boston cream for my own damn self. Okay. 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 So. Let us get on with lips of the day. It is one of my newbies. And the liner is, you can't find this liner anymore. I don't even know. Anyway, it's Nat Robbins lip liner. And it is burgundy. Burgundy. What does it say? L1? I didn't even realize I had L1 next to it. Lip liner in burgundy L1. Uh, lined. You can get any burgundy lip liner. Look just like this. And, um, oh, what's going on here? Okay, NYX Butter Lipstick, and this is in the color, I don't think you'll be able to see this, it's called Thunderstorm. Thunderstorm, yeah, it's too small, you won't be able to see that. And I did do a comparison, because it's got the same case coloring as Hunk. Hunk and um, Licorice. And believe it or not, this hunk is darker. Licorice is of a more on the purple side, and this is more on the like magenta red. So kind of surprised me when I wore it because I was kind of looking for a hunk-ish kind of a color. But and, and of course the case just said purple. So I'm like, oh, okay. But as it turns out, you know, it looks like this, but it comes out more red. See, it comes out more red. Very odd. But moisturizing, and it lasts a good long time. So, I can't complain. But, it, you know, you don't expect... See, do you see the difference? This, the lips are more red than the actual lipstick itself. Very, very strange, but in a good kind of a way. So, I am not going to bitch and moan about that. This is what it is. It's called Thunderstorm, and I got it from Ulta. I'm telling you, Ulta got all these different kind of lipsticks that I don't think you can find anywhere else. Especially when it comes to the NYX lipstick line. They've got all of these different names that I have never, ever seen anywhere else. I'm not going to complain. I bought my fair share. So there you have it, people. There you have it. Let me just wipe off the swatch. Uh, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. Um, all, it seems like all week we're going to have nothing but, uh, closings. 
closings, meaning like house closings, like people bought their house. And when I tell you a gazillion and one people have to come for just one house closing, you got the lawyers on the 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 the, the house side, you got the lawyers on the people side, you got the the, the I mean. And then I get Mr. Man, Mr. Snippety, Boss Man, one of the three. His name is on the door. Somebody came to see him, right? So I didn't realize the guy said, Dr. So-and-so. So when I called um, Mr. So-and-so, I said, Mr. So-and-so is that the, is, is waiting for you, is, you know, is here to see you. And he goes, it's doctor, by the way. You know what? I don't have time for your bitching and moaning. He's here to see you. Come take your big fat ass out of your office and come and see him, please. Which is really what I wanted to say. I don't know why somebody's calling me. I don't know this number. I got another I got another chance to uh, get a scratch off tomorrow. Win for life, and I'm, I think I'm gonna get a cash for life. Also, I've been I've been slacking off on my cash for life because I haven't gotten not a one number. And come to think of it, I've been rather cold on the win for life tickets too. So I don't know what the hell is going on. Somebody trying to tell me something like I'm not meant to win the lottery. I'm just meant to work hard all the rest of my days. People, I can't. You know, it gets harder and harder the older you get. I'm serious. I don't even, I can't even remember when I started to feel this way. And I really, I mean, yes, partly it's got to do with the fact that, um, you know, you've been gaining weight, Nancy. You haven't been eating to your um, best of your ability, which is why when I came home, I went through the drive-thru. Hold up, though. Hold up. Went to the Mickey D's drive-thru. Nancy, and is waiting for her to eat now. Nancy went to get herself an artisan grilled chicken. Hello, grilled chicken. Not with fries, not with a soda. I got a side salad and a small high C drink. You know I really wanted to get some fries, right? McDonald's fries, how do you turn those down? But I said, okay, Nancy, um, you had a rather weird lunch, which you know when you're so damn hungry, you just want everything on the damn menu? So for lunch, now here I go. For dinner, I went to, to Mickey D's, and for lunch, I went to BK's. Because I had to go to the bank to withdraw some money, like my money. Not enough for play money, but just enough for me money. And then right across the bank is the BK's. And then I have enough time to go back to work. So I went through the drive-thru, and I'm as hungry as hell. And I knew what I wanted. But then I saw they had the little sign, mozzarella sticks. I was like, ooh. So I had two hamburgers, two. Well, you know hamburgers, two bites and they're gone anyway. So four bites ain't going to do me no good. Or, or no better. Two hamburgers, and I didn't have no fries. I had the mozzarella sticks, like the side order of mozzarella sticks. And I had an icy, you know those cherry ices that they sell? Yeah, I had one of those, a small one. So that was lunch. Like, I'm eating funky lunch. So it's like, okay, Nancy, you need to reel it back. And this weekend, I think, if I have any cash left. I need to go at least pick up some kind of maybe some ground beef because I have two hamburger helpers waiting in the kitchen. Oh, all I need is the ground beef. That's really it. I don't have any ground beef. So maybe on Friday or maybe even tomorrow. I'll go get some ground beef after work. You know, after work, I just want to go home, right? So and, and a drive through is way easier. Because then you got to go home and then you have to cook the damn thing. And I know, you know, hamburger helper is just, you know, five minutes and it's done, Nancy, really. But, you know, when you're so damn freaking tired, five minutes, it seems like five hours. 
So yeah, that's me. I'm sorry I'm bitching and moaning today, people, but this is just, I, w I really thought this week was going to be easy peasy. Ooh, supervisor's not going to be here. Ooh. I, could you imagine how, how much more difficult this week would have been if she was here? Because this week is not easy. I'm telling you, this week is not easy for me. It is so not easy for me. Like, here go one of my coworkers. She is passing the fax machine. Passing it. She sees the fax machine and, 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 and is spewing out something. Um, Nancy, uh, you need to go check the fax machine. It's, it's, the papers are all over the place. And then she just kept it moving. Bitch, you could have just stood there and cleaned up the facts, the papers. I just got up. I just got up. Went to the fax machine. And underneath my breath, I said, yes, sir, master, sir. Let me just fix this for you. She could have easily. You're walking past it. You see, I'm busy. I'm not sitting there chewing gum and filing my nails. No, I'm doing stuff. So you just need to report to me that papers are all over the place and the fact, like you couldn't take time, like a minute, because it really was. All I had to do was just straighten up the papers and just, and the facts were still coming through. That's all it was. And here's the thing, who the facts was for, the, the, the woman that said, oh, you need to go fix, she's sitting in right in that area. So all you had to do was clean up the facts papers and literally there was like one paper left coming out waiting for that last one and you would have given it to the person that she's sitting in your area so i took the faxes fact sheets i cleaned them up i walked by the bitch's desk and i went to give it to whoever it was the fax was for um nancy you need to clean up the fax yes sir master sir i guess right on it because that's what I do. From the moment I walk in, I'm cleaning. It's like I'm the maid. I'm cleaning the kitchen. I'm taking care of the dirty dishes. Now, people are already in the office. Like, they're already in the office. I'm not asking you to do my job for the entire day. But you could at least start the dishwasher for me. And when it's done, I will take the dishes out. I will put them back in their places and I will continue on with the rest. No, they would rather see the machine pile up to the nth degree because it's not my job. I'm just, no, but you taking one cup, drinking a cup of coffee, putting it in, taking another cup, drinking another cup of coffee, putting it in. But, but it's too much. It's too much for you to start the machine. And, and, Cause it's not my job oh no it's not my job after all there are more there are people who have more important jobs than mine we all know that right oh uh, he and i back uh, 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 i can't even say back together ew uh, but we're back on speaking terms so everything is copacetic i will not forget but i'll forgive your sorry ass for stating that your job is more important than mine I understand. You're the one that gets paid the big bucks. I'm just a slave. That's okay. It's not a problem. But I tell you one thing. He hasn't asked me to do anything since. Fine by me. I see he's putting his assistant to much better usage. That's what she's there for, right? Because it's, it's not bad enough that I'm almost everybody's assistant thing that I'm in the general area. I'm the administrative assistant for every damn body in that office, alongside the assistants that they already have. I can't remember the last time I said I love my job. I can't remember when. I think it was the first couple of weeks when I started in the other job before this one. The other one. With Cutie? Yeah, that was the last time I said I love my job. And that was early on when I was first wet behind the ears. Yeah, I loved my job then because it was simple. It was simple. I came in. I had my own little, I was an island onto myself. Nobody bugged me on occasion. Somebody would, but that's beside the point. But I was basically left alone. 
at CNN. I was, you know, paperwork would come to me. I would do whatever I had to do, answer the phones. It was simple. I was sure I was changed to the desk, but it was simple. It was simple. Take calls, transfer them over. Simple. Just so damn simple. This job is two jobs for one person. You have the receptionist job, just answering the phones. And then you have other, which is the paperwork, which is cleaning the boardrooms, which is cleaning the kitchen, which is buying milk, which is, you know, just taking care of everybody. Nancy, can you make photocopies for me? Nancy, can you staple these together? Nancy, can you file this? Nancy. Totally different. Totally different. Like I had a piece of paperwork today. From one of the attorneys who I normally get along with. He's he's very cool. He's very cool. But sometimes he's a little too cool. So I can't, you know, I'm looking at the paperwork. I already see that it's wrong. So I had to take it to him and I asked him, I said, is this an estate plan for two people or is it for one person? And he goes, I don't know. I don't care. I said, well, I do care because I'm the one that has to write it up. And if I write it up wrong, I'm the one that gets blamed for it. So can you please explain to me? And he's looking at me like, don't give me the look. You're giving me something wrong because you don't care. It's in. So you don't care. No, it's not in yet, boo-boo. I have to write it up. And if I'm going to write it up correctly, that's the way it's going to be. But if you're giving it to me wrong and I, I'm misunderstanding what you're, what you're giving me, I'm going to have to set you straight. I love the whole la di da like, oh, I've done my part. Okay, it's on to the next. And you just don't give a damn what what you're giving to the next person because, you know, your part is done. No, your part is, it, it may be done, but it's done incorrectly. And I'm going to call you on it. Sure, I could have just easily corrected it. No, no, boo-boo. I want to let you know that if you're giving me something wrong and I write it up wrong, it's it, you're not the one that's going to get blamed for it. Somebody's not going to, my supervisor's not going to come to you and say, so-and-so, this was written up wrong. No, she's going to come to me with an attitude talking about you should know better and how did why did you write it wrong? And, no, no, I don't need the drama. I don't need all of that. So you need to come correct with your shit first, and then I'll take care of the rest. But come to me with it correctly. Don't give me the, oh, I don't care, Nancy. No, but I do. I do. I have to. Because you're not going to get blamed for it. I'm the one that's going to get blamed for it. This is what I have to deal with. Big man, he gives me paperwork. I look at it. Half of it is incomplete. All you're giving me is the name and, and what it is. And, and there's no address. You're not giving me no phone number. You're not giving me no email. You're not giving me no kind of information. But let me enter it in that way. And his is the only person that I can pretty much get away with entering it that way. Because when my, when I, when my supervisor calls me on it and she sees who wrote it, oh, it's him. Mm-hmm. What, you thought it was me? So then she, don't, then she don't say nothing. Oh, well, okay, we'll just have to leave it that way. Mm-hmm. Why do you think I left it that way? Because this is what he gives me. You correct him. You want it so correct, you want it done so correctly, you go to him. You say it's wrong. Go ahead. You've been there longer than me. I'm sure you have a better relationship with him than I do. You go right ahead. But the other little minions that don't have their name on the door, y'all are giving me paper that, paperwork that's incorrect. Yeah, I'm going to come to you. I'm going to come to you. That's right. Oh, I don't care. Guess what? I do. I have no choice in the matter. This is what I have to deal with. It's like school. I swear. It's like. I don't know why it's taking me. Oh, and there's my baby. He calms me down. He gets on my nerves sometimes too. But he calms me down. Look at him. And uh, down we go. And he's coming over here. Where's my bubble? 
Yes, my baby. This is what I love to come home to. The love of my cat, who sometimes just doesn't even bother to give me any kind of love whatsoever, but he calms me down. He, you know, my blood pressure rises. All I have to do is just look at him and it's like, wow. So yeah, this is my week. Three down, two more to go. I'm praying to sweet Jesus that tomorrow and Friday can ease up just a little. But I saw the schedule for tomorrow. Don't count on it, Nancy. And even if, like today, there were like four things. I was like, oh, it's going to be an easy day. Oh, no. No, no. Or as the day progressed, more things were being added to the schedule. More things were being added to the schedule. I was like, really? So sometimes what you see is not necessarily what you're going to get, Nancy. There could be changes for the worse. <sighs> okay, that's it. I'm sorry I'm just bitching and moaning to you. But, um, yeah. Yesterday was bad. Today was bad. Like, all week long. All week long. And the closings are the worst. They're the longest and they're the worst. Because not everybody comes to the closing at the same time. Sometimes you have the lawyers coming in first. Then you have the clients coming in. Then, oh, there's somebody who got lost. We got to wait for him. I'm going to take off my clothes, put on my comfy cozies, my summer comfy cozies, and put the AC on because it's rather hot out there. That may have a lot to do with my um particular... feeling the way I'm feeling. So, yeah. So here we go. That's it. That's all. This is lips of the day. I really wish I could come to you with better news. I mean, every day I wake up and I try to say, okay, this is going to be a better day than it was yesterday. And then I come home. And I realize that no, Sometimes it was worse than the day before. Sometimes it's about the same. Like yesterday, today is about the same as it was yesterday. And I just had to come and talk to Pop for just a little bit. Not to bitch and moan, but I had something to talk to him about. And then, of course, it extended to other things. And hours just kept flying by. So it's like I wasn't going to come up and do no video. But here I am today. Okay. And um, I'm not going to mention any names for my family members. But there are certain family members who have been uh, slacking off of late. I've been looking forward to their videos every single day. I look forward to your videos. I look forward to your videos. And, um, and you know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. I'm not going to mention no names. I don't want to embarrass anybody. I'm just not that kind of person. But, um, like, do you not do videos anymore? You know, at least let me know. Let me know ahead of time, of, you know what, Nancy? Mm, I stopped doing this, so don't look forward to it. Okay, then I'll know. But every day, you know, while I'm uploading, while I'm changing into my comfy cozies, I come and I sit down and it's like, okay, let me see if so-and-so did a video today because I could, you know, I could really use a laugh or I could really use a divergent, from, you know, something to, to divert my, my attention to somebody else's problems if it is a problem video or new makeup or whatever but um certain people you know what i'm talking about um have been slapped for weeks like for weeks it, it's been at least what a couple of months now and i'm saying something now that's right i've held my tongue for as long as i could and i'm saying something now i'm just saying and I'm not talking about just one person. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a few of you. There's a, there's a few who have been slacking off as of late. I mean, like months, weeks and months. And is it like you don't do videos anymore? You just jumped off the YouTube train? What, you know, I don't understand. And, you know, I look forward to your videos and nothing. Just absolutely nothing positively nothing then again there's on the other side my regulars who 
the ones who've been slacking off used to be my regulars, but y'all ain't my regulars no more because you ain't doing anything regular no more. So y'all on the other side of the train. But my regulars, the ones I look that I can I can count on and depend on, the ones who used to do videos I used to count on and depend on, but y'all on the other side of the train now. The ones that are vigilant and are sticking to a schedule and are doing videos, thank you. Thank you very much. Because I need I need to just I need to just escape. And y'all give me that escape and I need it. I need it. I just need it. Okay? I'm just saying. So enough of that. Okay? So um yeah, that's lips of the day. And uh I like it. I like the shade. I like the shade. It's a very nice shade. I really, really do like it very, very much. It's kind of it kind of reminds me a little bit of a uh, Raspberry Bite, which was a Revlon lip butter, I think. I think I have. Yeah, it's a Raspberry Bite. Sort of reminds me a little bit of that, but it doesn't have as much shine as Raspberry Bite. This is kind of like a cream-ish. It's kind of like a cream, but it has a little bit of a shine. Let me just put it this way. Office friendly. It's an office friendly lipstick. And there are still a lot more to go. Okay, there's a lot more to show you. All right, so um, stick around. Stay tuned. We shall see what we can do for tomorrow. I love you. I do love my YouTube family, even the ones who have um, slacked off. I love you. I really do. And, uh, you know, hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay? I love you. Mwah. Bye now.